What is up, survivors? Welcome back to another episode of Ark's Lost Island. Solo playthrough, yeah! Anyways, finally figured out all my hotkeys. Well, most of them are for anyways. So anyways, guys, just wanted to say... That was a long howl from that wolf. Anyways, just want to say welcome back, guys. We are going to get some stuff done today. We're going to do a little bit of exploring, possibly some taming. I kind of want to I kind of want to head out a little bit and see what we got in the area. I mean, we know we got that Therizino and Carno down the beach over there. Obviously, we're not going to be able to do anything about them. And I just realized that the um my uh indicator actually doesn't point the right direction fully. It's a little off-centered. But anyways, so I'm thinking maybe we head a little bit inland over this way a little bit maybe back that direction we'll have to see because like right now it's saying i'm looking out towards the water and i'm there might just be water on the other side of this little dip because i know i'm pretty sure i'm further down this marker than what it's showing me see look that now it's kind of showing me where i am so we're definitely further down here i think we're gonna head up into here a little bit and kind of see what's up on this mountain kind of look around maybe get a little lay of the land um, I did get a little bit of, I did get a level. I'm about to level again, I think. I'm going to throw that into carry weight. So we can spend some points here real fast. Um, I'm going to learn the canoe. Because I really want the canoe so we can travel down the water, the waterway safely. Um, I think we might actually do that first. I don't think I'm going to spend any other points just yet other than narcotic. And I think that's probably going to be it for now anyways. Possibly. Hmm. Do I want to get the water skin? Not sure I want to get the water skin. Nah, I'm going to hold off on that for now. I don't need the water skin. We're going to be in the canoe. We're going to build a canoe so we can head downstream. Um, I already have the hide. Now, I did deal with the Truidons. I did kill those off camera, by the way. Uh, okay. Um, so I have plenty of hide. Um, I cooked up all of my food, minus, like, two stacks, I believe. Uh, what, what else do I need here? We're going to need a little bit. Oh, we're going to need one stack of wood. I'm definitely going to need more fiber. So, let's put the wood and thatch away. Let's put this stuff away and get a little bit of fiber here real quick. We're going to need some fiber so we can build that canoe. All right, sorry for that cut there, guys. It's actually been like three hours. I just got back. Um, yeah, my daughter kind of burst into the room. <laughs> Anyways, what were we... Okay, we were doing the canoe. That's right. We were gathering fiber for the canoe. Surprised I remembered that. All right, so let's let's get on the road. Yeah, she was, uh, she was watching the new Disney movie. I forget what it's called. It's uh, about the... Uh, I don't know if it's an Italian or a Mexican family or something. They have magical powers, or they were granted magical powers from a candle. I'm pretty sure somebody knows what I'm talking about. But uh, she kept running in here going, Dad, Dad, crack in the house. Dad, Dad, crack in the house. I'm like, what? And I remembered that the house was cracking in the movie. Anyways, <laughs> she was being cute. So I obliged her. Okay, so how much fiber did we need? We got enough. I think we need like 250 or something like that. All right. Um, can you... So we need the hide. And then we need thatch. Oh, I didn't grab all the thatch. There we go. And then we need one stack of wood. And canoe. Awesome. Now, canoes are... Oh, they're great. They have a small storage box as well as they act as a portable sleeping bag or a bed. So we'll be able to travel around the beach line and kind of scout parts of the map. And apparently they give a boatload of XP. Okay, uh, let's throw that into stamina, that into carry weight, and this we're going to go into movement speed. And then we have a lot of points to spend here. So let's grab... We have 45 points. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we basically have everything unlocked on this map, which is amazing. I'm definitely going to grab large storage box. Um, 
I might hold off on spending points at the moment. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's grab Spyglass. And we'll hold off for now and spend any more points. All right. Let's go throw this canoe. This Canook. And Zawata. Oop, there we go. So, yep, as you guys can clearly see, we can j get up on top of it like this. We can look down. We can demolish it. We can do seats. Change name. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll call it the River Canoe. The River Canoe. All right, River Canoe. And it also acts as a bed as well, too. We can pick it up if we want to. It's got its own inventory, so we can put stuff in here, which is awesome. And, of course, press E. And we have the best bird's eye view ever. And the other nice thing about canoes as well, guys, is uh, you don't get attacked by sea creatures, as far as I'm aware, when riding in a canoe. And I think the movement speed is faster. I don't remember them being this fast. Were they always this fast? I feel like it's faster. I don't know. Let's go scouting around the shorelines real quick and kind of do a little, little bit of a scouting run. That kind of looks like that goes down. Let's take a quick peek -see here real quick. That kind of looks like a tunnel entrance, possibly. Nope, I'm just seeing things. Although this is a really good spot. I'm I'm almost positive something like this is like completely built up on official servers. <laughs> All right. Let's mosey on down. Down to the end. Oop, wrong button. Guess I'm in the center now. All right, let's do a little bit of fast forward part right here, guys. I'm going to zoom around. That way we can save some time. All right, look, guys, we found dodos. <laughs> they do exist. <laughs> kind of want to go down towards the volcano a little bit. Should get out and kill these dodos. Yeah, let's get out and kill these dodos. I could probably use the hide anyways. Alright, we got ourselves some trikes here as well. What level are you? A 150 male, and you're a female because that one was mate boosted. An 85. Interesting. There we go. Let's get some hide. Get our arrows back too. Awesome. You can never have enough hide. Especially early game. Right, let's put away that hatchet. I want to do a little exploring. I'm going to try to get a tame out of the way too. I don't think we're going to get anything too crazy this episode, but if we can get an idea of what's around us, we can go from there. Nice little sandbar right there. Now that volcano might look close, but I have a feeling that's actually pretty far down the line. Now the canoes actually came out with Gen Part 2. And I honestly feel like this should be in the base game. I'm really hoping that with... Um, I think I can grab that blue drop, but I'm really hoping with Arc 2, they... When they add in things that are considered primitive, they actually add them into the base game. And not add them in as something like you have to... Have access to, uh, like, a certain map to be able to go there to get it. Like, they should have added this as part of the base island. There's some Pegos here. Alright, let's see if I can get up and around... Go grab a 
See if I can grab that blue drop. I think I can grab the blue drop. I can't remember. Oh, these pegos are definitely going to be on me like freaking rats in about two seconds. Get to the other side just in case they're chasing me. Oh, I got to be 25. For some reason, I kept thinking you had to be 15. I think that's green. I'm thinking of. All right. This is a nice little area. We definitely want to keep our eyes out for a um, a potential spot to move our from base camp to. Because, you know, base camp is just a starting area. Like, you know, I don't know where we're going to set up, like, main base. Or even, like, I wouldn't even refer to it as main base. Like, you know, we can call it, like, our first base. Because we're definitely going to have to have multiple bases. Even if some of them are just outposts. Because this is a very big map. Oh, we're gonna need a turn. Oh, you know what? We could go straight. We can go around this rock this way. Looks like you can walk through that over there. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be a lot like Ragnarok when it comes to the ocean. Man, look at that ocean out there. We're definitely going to have to do an ocean base. Is that is that what I think it is? Hold up, guys. Is that a Smoochums? <laughs> Pokemon reference. <laughs> I think I just found one of the new creatures, guys. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I did not recognize that flying pattern. I might have just been seeing things. I'm pretty sure. Let's go check it out real quick. Pull out our bola just in case we run into a Rapator. I like this area. This is really nice. Very jungly. Oh, I like this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It was a trap. They b blended in. Ow. Leave me alone. They were camouflaged. They made themselves look like smoochums. We must run quickly to the water. And we're out of here, folks. Oop, and I pooped in the ocean. It's all right. We're definitely getting a good idea of what's around here. Oh, there's a Megalodon out there. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, we are getting pretty far. Nice little water rock formation right here. Oh yeah, that volcano is way down there. That would be a nice platform base location. Right on the other side of that. Oop, sorry. Sorry, rock! Wow, look at that volcano. That is an amazing looking volcano. C 
seaweed all down here. God, I can only imagine what this map would be like on official servers. Ooh, look at that waterfall. I would not play this map on official servers right now. This is probably like the laggiest thing ever. But I always main base on the island. That's always how I've been. Now, if I had, if we do end up going back, I'm probably not going to do the whole thing where I uh, I like to do my own breeding and my own build up. Oh, can we get through here? Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh. We got it. These are beautiful waterfalls. Now, that up there might even be a potential base location. Like an official starter one, maybe. Because it kind of looks flat up there. I'm running into the shoreline because I'm too busy looking at these beautiful waterfalls. The only problem is, is I'm not seeing a way up there. Oh, and there's some raptors. Well, so much for going to go take a peek, see. Oh, dear God, did it again. <laughs> Ooh, that's a red raptor. Ooh, that's a nice Xmas raptor. Yeah, that whole cliff line kind of looks flat from over here. Now we're getting far down the beach line, guys. Not as far as I thought I was. Then again, this map is pretty big. I just want to point out how beautiful that looks. Like, look at that. You've got your jungle, your snow biome, and your volcanic zone all next to each other. That is just amazing. This this might actually be a really good spot to set up, like on that island. We'll have to see here in a second. I'm almost there. All right, we made it, guys. Okay, I can say this much. This island is very far from the shoreline. I didn't look like it was that far when you look at the map, but holy crap, that was a journey. Not sure I want to make this kind of journey, though. But if this ends up being a decent-sized island with most of the stuff we'll need, we might not have to leave this island um, for at least a couple of episodes. We might be able to get majority of what we need to get started. And this kind of looks... Oh, yeah. We've got a natural indent where we can keep our water dinos. We can do a little bit of basic water breeding right here. This is like a Herby Island almost. Now the question is, is it a Herby Island? Ah, so far. All right. We get a quick look around. We got some Tedons. Looks like some Pelagornis, some Gallimimus. Looks like we've got some rats with wings. We got a trike. Got the good old Bola out just in case there's a raptor. We definitely are going to be able to get a teat on here. There's definitely a lot of wood, a lot of grass. So far, it looks like there's a decent amount of stone. We do have raptors. It is not a herbivore island. But it is pretty damn close to one. Now, the question is, if there, if there are raptors, we might even see... Ooh, hello. A little frame loss there. Ooh, maybe even a little more. Ooh, what is causing all that frame loss? Okay. Are there Carnos and Rexes here? And Aloes? That's the question. There's a Dodo over here. Kill off these Dodos. You Christmas Dodos. All right. Get some more hide and meat. Oh, 
Awesome. Got a nice little little peninsula thingy, little ridge over there. That's pretty cool. Got a little area up top we can possibly go to. Let me switch back over to the bola in case we get attacked by one of those rapators. And we don't have to worry about a sleeping bag because we have our canoe beached here, so we can always spawn at our canoe. Unless they've changed something since uh, they've come out. Oh, that raptor's right there. We're gonna avoid it for now. Let's go up here. Couple of spitters. Definitely a possibility up here. Let's go into K mode real quick. Or even up on that ledge over there. And build a nice little starter up here. Fence it off a little bit. I'm not seeing anything other than raptors so far. So, you know, we could get like a basic little... A nice little raptor for a little meat runner. A little starter pack. This could be a decent starter island. I mean, it's got potential, guys. It's got potential. A little drop off down into the ocean right here. And see into the highland zone area a little bit. Oh, we got some flowers here. Some purple flowers. Are you guys what I think you are? No. I thought these might be like, um... Uh, rare flowers because they were purple. Oh, we got obsidian. Ooh, we even got obsidian on this island. Hello. Let me pull out my bola real quick. Running around without it. So this island's got obsidian on it. Ooh. Does it have crystal? This, this actually, this might even be a better spot over here if we were to set up on this island. Brontos, Tidons. Get ourselves a nice little starter flyer. Although the only drawback to being all the way out here is the trip to the mainland. It's uh, it's gonna be a doozy. It's going to be a doozy. Oh, this island is a lot bigger than what I thought it was, that's for sure. More spitters. And a Bronto. Excuse you. <laughs> wow, this is uh this is a big island. This is a big island. Oh, 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 that's three raptors. Alright, they're going after that trike now. Oh, that trike's dead. That trike's dead. Although, one of these raptors is almost dead. And this one's the alpha. Oof, almost got him. Come on. I don't think I got enough arrows for this. Yeah, definitely don't have enough arrows for this.
Hmm. Interesting. Well, this island definitely has potential. I'm just not entirely sure if I want to set up here. It's pretty far off the mainland. All right, let's get some water here real quick. There we go. Well, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in uh, the, the comments down below. Should I try to set up a base on this island? Or should I set up on the mainland somewhere? Yeah, this episode's kind of turning into a little bit of an exploratory episode. Oh, we got some white flowers here. You guys give anything different? Nope, no they don't. Alright, well, you know what? It was worth a shot, right? You gotta experiment. Alright, let's pull out our trusty old bola. Alright, well... I mean, we could set up on the island. There's really no reason we sh we di we don't have to. I mean, we could set up on like maybe that sandbar right over there. Just something to start off that's not right on the mainland. Oh, there's another raptor right there. Oh, there's another raptor right there too. Dude, really, Gally? Oh. No! Leave me alone, Rapator. Oh, we're gonna die. Well, guys. Whoa. Unplug that. <laughs> well, we died, guys. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it on this one. Wow, there was a lot of spawn points on this map. Can I actually spawn on this island? I've never tested these spawn points. Can get pretty darn close. Wow. Lots of areas. All right, guys, I'm going to call it for this episode. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. And um, let me know what you guys think. Should I set up a main base on that island or should we set up someplace else? It's wow. Look at that. It's saying it's all the way out here. They really need to do some optimization to the location for this map still, because technically my boat's right there and it's saying it's all the way up here. All right, guys. But anyways, take care as always if you like this episode, don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, guys. It really does help. Um, especially with the YouTube algorithm, every like you guys give is huge. It's a big help, but make sure you're liking towards the end of the video. If you did make it this far, because, um, the YouTube algorithm responds better to likes if they're towards the middle or end of videos versus in the beginning, because the amount of watch time, <laughs> it notices that kind of stuff. It's just what it is. Also, if you guys want to help support the channel uh, more proactively, if you're one of those more generous people out there that want to help support the channel more, um, you can always stop by my Patreon. I do have a Patreon set up now. Um, I would greatly appreciate that as well, too. Um, obviously, it's 100% optional. It's just there if you decide to go that far. But there is always the free route where you can join the Discord, hang out with us in there, talk with us, discuss with us, um, or with me specifically because there's really not very many of us right now. <laughs> Um, and then obviously don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you're not new. Yeah, all that fun jazz, guys. I'm rambling on at this point. I'm going to get this episode edited and I'm going to get it uploaded. Anyways, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. And as always, happy hunting.